an electron moving with a speed of 0.1 times c. Now, c is the speed of light, so we'll get back to that in a second. Moves in a direction perpendicular to a magnetic field of strength 0.6 teslas. So my magnetic field I've represented with these x's, so we're imagining in this case it's into the page. They don't state it. As long as it's 90 degrees, we're okay. And my electron, we'll say, is traveling from left to right. And you can imagine, you know, like if these are x's, there's a line coming um, from you into the page through the, through the screen, basically. So this electron is going to cross those field lines at a 90 degree angle. So we've satisfied this perpendicular condition. And we're trying to find out what force acts on the electron. Now, we have the magnetic field strength, 0 0.60 teslas, and we know it's an electron. And the charge of an electron is called the elementary charge, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. Now, it's negative, but let's worry about the direction later on. Whenever we're doing things like forces, we want to do, we want to do uh, vectors at the end. So my equation, force is Q, V, times b. And as long as those two things are perpendicular to each other, we're good to go, which they are. So we go 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs, that's the charge of an electron, times my velocity. Now let's figure out my velocity. The speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. So if I have basically 10% of that, my velocity is 3 times 10 to the 7th. So my velocity is 3 times 10 to the 7. And my magnetic field is 0 0.60 teslas. And if we work all that through, we get a force of 2.9 times 10 to the negative 12 newtons. Now, if you want to practice your right-hand rule, for this one, my fingertips go into the page, my thumb is to the right, and I end up getting a force that's up. But remember, an electron is exactly opposite so my force for my diagram should be down. Now, it depends on how you drew your diagram, right? But I'm just, just uh, for interest's sake. Now, you could use the left-hand rule for an electron. So if you use your left hand directly, fingers into the page, thumb to the right, and your palm of your hand would be pushing it down.